and if you come caving you can you can get to where really cool cool well is and we're trying to organize a trip to go to the Yorkshire Dales in November um, possibly like Spain and Ireland next year um, and we do loads of trips whenever depending on who wants to come Okay, well basically yeah, we're the Medivory and Outland Society. As a group we train a couple of times a week. We learn to fight with weapons like these, or we've got swords or the longbows. Um, over the summer we travel all over the country, a couple of places in Europe as well. We get to stay in castles, have a bit of a fight, sleep over. Um, it's just a really good social. If you're not interested in the fight, there's lots of other things you can do as well. Um, music, dancing, crafts, learn to blacksmith, uh, learn to make arrows. So anybody and everybody is welcome to come and join us. Hi, I'm Gillian, the tennis coach. We've got a training session on a Wednesday for team tennis. That's one till three o'clock and matches are the same day and then we've got on a Friday social tennis more a mix of a match any standard allowed you can just come along and join in that's one till three run by men's captain Danny yep. okay uh, right well we've been telling people that we meet every week at the wall uh, and then we've also been saying that we've got freshest trips planned in a couple of weeks where we're going to go out on rock and introduce them to rock climbing outside uh, later in the year we're planning to go to Lakes, to Wales and then hopefully down to South Wales to Pembroke uh, in next summer and just have a nice long year of climbing uh, at some nice beautiful places. This year for the Society we've got a lot of things planned. We have educational trips to like the firework, fa a firework factory and the sweets factory already lined up and we have a brewery tour sometime this month and we're also a very fun and social society so uh, we're going to have a meeting every two weeks at a bar such as Dogmore Revolution and at the end of the year we're going to have a theme park trip. Okay, basically what we've been doing is we've been trying to uh, get all the Sikh, uh, pe um, Sikh cultural people in um, from the Bangor side, from the religion side and bring them all together and um, we're here to create events for the future so we're going to start seeing as paintballing, go-karting, uh, charity bike rides, uh, kids for camps as well in the Sikh temples. Uh, hopefully bring the, the community together to do lots of events and then obviously from there they can pass on their message to the future generations. Obviously you get a lot of kids that go to university nowadays and it's the 21st century so this is where we're trying to educate everyone as well as regards to the cultural side and the religion side as well. Okay, so with the University Archery Club we practice twice a week. We go to competitions within our league, which is all the Northern Universities. We also enter the National League. Today we've been handing out some lovely stickers, some beautiful flyers, and we've also had a slideshow of pictures going. The bow up here is Vicky's bow, who's lovely over there. And other than that, we hope you join and have lots of fun. Uh, first of all, we've been setting up the stall today, which you can see behind us. That's where we'll hand out flowers and sign up new members for the upcoming year. Both the men's and the ladies team team together because it's a good social aspect that gets both teams join together and it creates a better atmosphere off and off the pitch. We train at Stores Hall on a Tuesday from 6 to 8 and then Wednesday's afternoon is usually mass time. And apart from that, we're out to have a laugh as well. well with the Labour Cup, we've been trying to get in touch with students and their feelings on the coalition government so we've been asking them a lot of questions we've been handing out some leaflets um, with information on what the coalition intends to do and what Labour's alternative is we've had quite a positive response actually to what we've been saying and people generally are quite fed up with the cuts and the Lib Dems especially are turning to Labour so what we intend to do this year is we're going to start some campaigns against issues that people feel really strongly about and hopefully these are going to take off and possibly move on to a regional or national level Right, so the Afro-Caribbean Society, we've been trying to inform people that it's not just for African people or Caribbean people but for anyone else who's interested in our culture and we've shown them some of the things we've done last year including like the raids and the variety show and the football that we did last year and yeah you can get involved by joining our Facebook page which is Huddersfield Uni ACS or you can sign up on the Society website or yeah, you can just show up at one of our meetings that will be held every last Thursday of the month in the Eisen at 6. Thank you. Hi. Hi there, I'm Drew. I'm the president of Hindu Society this year. We've got a meet and greet, um, 28th September, 6 p.m., just behind the coffee bean and the students' union. Uh, be there. Uh, it's going to be really good. Uh, you don't have to be Hindu. 
uh, we let everybody in, we accept everybody. Uh, as long as you're human, uh, it should be fine. Uh, we've got lots of activities, film activities, lots of trips, uh, musical activities, religious activities, getting to know everybody. We've got a whole variety of people signing up to the Islamic Society, uh, Sikh Society, we have Christian Union, the Chinese Society. So it's not just about Hindus, it's about people coming together uh, and having a really good time, you know. Free food, you know, free love, free smiles, you know, everything, lots of fun. Uh, just hopefully you guys can make it too. We were Society of the Year 2010, last year we won the award for the SGA. Currently we're just promoting our first trip, which is next weekend, 1st and 3rd of October, which is in Abbasock in Wales. Um, we teach you how to surf, we don't care if you've never surfed before, we're quite happy to show you the ropes. Yeah, first meeting is next week on Monday the 27th at 8 o'clock in Reds and it's a beach party. We get free food and lots of cheap drinks. That's all about. We've been signing people up and we've got some free taste sessions, uh, not this Sunday but next Sunday. Uh, come along, try it out, uh, we're doing basic chilling, stunts, tumbles and uh, if you have any questions just call these numbers <laughs> or get in contact with us at hawks at aviatorallstars.com Hi, we're Frag, my name's Sam, this is Dwayne the President, this is Rebecca the Treasurer. We are basically just a video game society, we meet every Thursday, 5.30 till 8.30. We have multiplayer games, single player games for the Xbox and PS3. We have a projected screen set up, we have an X three Xbox 360s, two PS3s, and there's going to be tournaments for the multiplayer games, as well as prizes for the winners on the leaderboards. Basically we meet every week just for an ultimate gaming experience, and just for £5 for the whole year you get access to all our equipment and all the video games. A society started last year and we watch anime and Asian films, and you can just come along, try it out, see if you like it. Where about you guys meet then? In the SU second floor, in the meeting room. Right, what, what days do you do that? Wednesday at 7 o'clock till 9 o'clock. So our first meeting is tonight. Alright, uh, and who's this then? This is Bill. He's the Hi, treasurer. Bill. You're the treasurer? Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, what sort of uh, films do you watch then? Well, we watch uh, a variety of films, but films people would have seen before, like Bruce Lee martial arts films and like Jackie Chan films and stuff. But we watch a variety, like comedies, dramas, <laughs> horror films, just a bit of everything from different parts of the Asian film genre. Every every couple of Wednesdays we have a social meeting. Yeah. And that that usually meets up at a graduate first, or upstairs in the coffee bean. We've been giving out leaflets. You can find us on Facebook, so you can add us on there and we'll have information weekly. Yeah. We meet every Monday at the parish from 8pm and there we just basically chat about bikes, anything really that you want to do, join in. And so if you have an idea of like you want to go to an event or you want to go on a ride somewhere then we can arrange it. Um, we also stay for the pub quiz and you don't have to be a rider, you don't need your licence. An interest is kind of the main thing really. Um, we go to rallies, we go to bike shows, uh, we meet other clubs, uh, we also go on trips to like uh, Alton Towers and stuff and we're gonna look into doing mini moto racing. Have you got a little mini moto down here? <laughs> so yeah. Um, so we're thinking about getting into that as well. Um, also if you want to get into racing like motocross or supermoto, we can help you get into that and help you get your licence as well if you want. And we also get discount for getting your licence as well. Yeah, we, uh, we train Wing Chun Kung Fu, um, a system which was uh, originally learned by Bruce Lee before he went and adapted his own martial art, Jeet Kune Do. Basically what we do is a street level type of martial art where uh, we try and deal uh, with attacks out on the street or in pub situations or even against boxers in the most effective fashion as we uh, possibly can. If you come along to a session very soon, Tuesday night, half seven, at the University Sports Hall, uh, we'll look after you and introduce you. It's worth also saying that it's open to beginners and if, even if you've done it for a few years before, just come along. You know, you don't, you we, don't. we cater for males and females alike. We have a female instructor um, as well who can help with uh, perhaps just a small group of uh, females but if you are female and want to go straight in with like some grizzly guys we can also arrange that too so we're perfectly adaptable to your needs. Hi I'm Emma and I'm a member of the Social Student and I've been for 
about two years now. I'm Matt, I've been a member for three years now. Uh, and we basically do regular meetings where we um, discuss topics such as labour leadership, uh, education and why we feel it should be free for all and things like that. Um, yeah, for the year our main concern is going to be uh, cuts at the moment, which is quite obviously a current topic and everyone's going to sort of have something to do with that at some point. And um, you can come to our meetings there on Tuesdays at the Student Union Cafe around about 4 to about 6. So yeah, we're the Juggling Society and basically we meet up every week um, at the sports hall um, on a Tuesday evening at half seven till nine and we just come up with a juggle and you can get involved, it can be whatever level of skill, you know, if you're, if you're a complete beginner that's fine, you'll just learn off from other people and anyone's welcome really and we all go to the club afterwards. Whereabouts do you meet then? We meet, meet at the sports hall um, upstairs. What days? Tuesdays. At we meet every Monday night um, in Harold Wilson GO4 at 7 o'clock where we just meet together um, and get taught by the words um, by speakers that come in from different churches and worship together as well. Um, so just come along or go to our website as well which is really easy to find. We're the Friends of Palestine Society and you can join us on Facebook just type in Friends of Palestine Society. We're basically organising charity events raising awareness of what is going on in Palestine and also we want students of pa in Palestine to actually have a right to an edu education so yeah that's what we're going to be planning on doing for the next year. Right basically with the cricket team you can get involved on either, either on the website, uh, the SU website or uh, if you can to the stall or you can even turn up on Friday nights uh, at the sports hall 7 till 9. Um, we do various things, we do social events uh, such as bowling, uh, meals, uh, going out on the lash etc. Um, just do anything as, uh, as well as a discipline club, it's also a very social club at the same time. Uh, we pride ourselves, our, our, our ourselves on a various amount of aspects in your life. Hi, we're at Escape with Hood, I'm Fred. How you can get involved is come down, see us. We're having a party on Wednesday the 29th. Um, sign up on the website. Go on Facebook, uh, we've also got Twitter. You can follow us, Escape the Hood, at Twitter or the Facebook group. What we do is hold a big event in the summer. Where we get 48 hours to go as far as you possibly can from Huddersfield without spending a single penny. So it's a very charitable event. We raise money for charity and we spend the whole year just socialising and planning for it and doing other similar little events along the way. Hey boys, basically we're a rugby union based team, uh, massive social side to us, we uh, play on uh, a Wednesday, train on a Monday. Uh, we uh, organise trips throughout the year like Six Nations and one up to Edinburgh. Uh, we have a massive tour at the end of the year. Basically we get the lads down, we have a laugh but at the same time play some serious sport as well. We're the Huddersfield Snow Sports Society. Um, any beginners, any intermediate riders, anything, we welcome them all. As we said, we've got two trips organised, one in January, one in April, they're both to France. I went to both last year and it was the best time I ever had. Absolutely amazing, the best week of my life. Um, the club runs every Thursday, we go down to a bar, get together, have some drinks, have a great laugh, have a good time. We run weekly trips up to Castleford Escape. That's, um, that's your indoor snow dome. It's the best kind of um, place to go without actually being on real snow. If you're a beginner, we have options where you can learn on dry slopes as well. It's relatively cheap and I really, I really think that you should come down and join in. It's absolutely wonderful. Oh yeah, uh, we're a fundraising society and basically we run everything from fashion shows to bake sales to an app sale on campus. So this year if you want to get involved you can go on our Facebook page which is Huddersfield Rag 2010-11 or you can email us at Huddersfield underscore rag at live.co.uk um, and basically it doesn't matter what course you do or what you're interested in we have something for you and we make a lot of money for charity so sign up.